In this video, we're bringing you another tent review of the Unigear Space Dome 2. This is a tent that we are super excited to test out. Let's go. Okay, so the sp uh, the Space Dome 2 is I it's it's I don't know how to categorize this actually. So it is a little bit heavy and it is a a, a little chunkier than uh, than I would call a backpacking tent. Although it is for two people, so I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to set it up and see. But it comes with all of our normal uh, all the normal things that we do look for when it comes to a good tent, like a good quality nylon, uh, a rainfly vestibule. It comes with all these great things. At least I saw the product uh, the product. The product brochure and it looked amazing. So let's get it all set up and see what all the features are. Tent setup is fairly standard. The tent itself comes with three pieces your tent, your rainfly, and your poles. The aluminum poles are the quick snap ones, which we absolutely love, makes it nice and easy to put them together. Now, really important, we messed this up on the first go. The poles do need to go through the, the slots at the top of the tent, and they do crisscross on either side. Once you've got those in there, you simply put the clasps along those tent poles. Additionally, this tent comes with two side poles that allow the tent to open up on the top portion to give you more headspace. We'll share a little bit more about that a little later in the video. Okay, so the setup of the tent took, well, I guess we're not completely done yet, but uh, to get it up to this point, it was like five minutes and like three mistakes. Um, these tent poles do have to go through, which is one of the things I don't enjoy as much, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, the great things that we look for in tents. I love these buckles. These buckles make uh, attaching the rain, uh, rain fly such a breeze. I love these. Um, we have this on our Marmot tent and we love it. Um, I do want to pull uh, the rainfly off for a second to show a really cool feature of the Space Dome tent, which is right over here. So we're gonna see this when we go in, but uh, the, we, this tent does come up like this on the side, giving a lot more headroom and elbow space uh, because the tent doesn't collapse down on you. So the way that this stays up is with these metal buckles that is tied to the inside of the fly and to uh, the um, to the mesh portion. Uh, Tia called it. I was excited about these stakes. Now they are just aluminum, but usually um, we do see cheaper stakes that is just made out of a piece of bent aluminum. 
aluminum. These have a bit of shape to it, giving a structural integrity. Um, normally, I would recommend buying new stakes for any uh, for any new tent, but these are actually really nice. I, I do quite like them. So, finishing up about talking uh, about the stakes as I finish staking the thing down. I love the fact that it's red. It, you can you can see it really easily in the ground like that, which is actually a really great feature. We tend to lose these sometimes, especially when they're metal colored, and uh, once they get dusty, it really really hides itself. So, the fact that this is red, it's actually really great. All right, Tia, you ready to get in? She's nodding. So this is her door, and we're gonna have another door on the other side. The Space, uh, Space Dome 2 has two doors, so you can easily get in and out, and actually means that you have a smaller vestibule on one side to keep all your uh, gear dry, and also on the other. We'll see you inside. Okay, my turn to talk. So, for a two person tent, holy moly, this extra headroom is a game changer. This is definitely a unique design. We have yet to see this in any tents that we own and have used. Um, wow, is what I can say right now. Um, definitely this, these crossbars that they have going across that kind of push the tent out at the top gives you so much more headspace. So much more. I wish I could actually like show it properly. Yeah, this is really nice. So, like I said, this tent is a little bit chunkier and the fact that there is uh, so much more headspace does add to the bulk. But I personally actually think this is a really great um, even one person bike packing tent. You don't necessarily want to take this hiking with you. It is chunky, you'll take up space in your bag. But if you're putting on a bike and you have two people, this is not too bad. Would you carry this? I would carry this, absolutely. And just for like our everyday camping, um, I would carry this as well. This is like a nice good size when it's just me and you and we're going on a quick trip somewhere. Like today? Like today. All right, so this is definitely not something that we would choose a tent <laughs> over. It's just a nice bonus. So the Unigear Space Dome 2 comes in three color options and we got the beautiful citrus yellow. You can see it is very bright and cheery in here, even though it's not that sunny outside. Um, again, this is color is totally not any sort of game changer that allows us to, you know, not choose a tent over another one, but um, it's definitely a, ni a nice added bonus. All right, now that we've uh, explored the space a little bit, let's talk about uh, uh, some of the features. Now, there isn't a lot like one of these uh, these uh, base camp tents that you're going to get. Uh, so th uh, this is a bonus actually because it will reduce the weight, but it does come with some uh, handy dandy hooks that uh, that is available for you. So uh, I personally would use something like this to hang my glasses. We'll use Tia's sunglasses as a uh, uh, as the prop here and also in the middle which is really great for hanging your light so it does come with one two and then uh, the same on the other side last but not least the little mesh pocket right over here this is something that usually comes with every tent but it's always good to see that there is one i we usually put our phones in here and just stuff that we don't want to get lost 
The next feature that I want to talk about is the vestibules on this tent. Vestibules are something that do doesn't come on every single tent that you buy and we definitely have tents where we don't have vestibules and it kind of sucks because when you have some of your outdoor gear or outdoor shoes and stuff you have to kind of bring them inside which makes a tent really crowded number one especially in a two-person tent um, and it can also make it very messy in here or wet if it's raining which if you followed along for a while you know we always get caught in the rain. Uh, <laughs> so like Andy mentioned earlier, this tent has two different vestibule styles, which is absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna talk about the bigger one first. So if I open this up here, you can see right now it's nicely rolled up, makes it nice and easy when you wanna get in and out of the tent if you're not actually using it uh, to store things or if it's not raining. Uh, very simple to undo here. It's these basic clasps that you see on any tent. Okay, so the vestibule has come down. This one you can see is a double-sided zipper. We love these. Makes it easier again to get in and out if you need more space. This vestibule zips down on both sides um, and that's another nice feature that we like because you don't always have to undo the whole thing to get in and out of the tent. Um, so oftentimes what we'll do is, because this is the bigger vestibule, we might keep like our shoes and boots and outdoor kind of gear on the one side here. And then we'll only unzip one side to get in and out of the tent. So it's just another way that we keep our stuff nice and dry. Um, you do stake it on an angle so if it does rain, that rain is going to roll right off the tent. So just to show you the full space here, this is the vestibule um, completely closed on both sides of the zipper. Coming on the other side of the tent, I'm going to show you the other vestibule. So let's open up this door. <laughs> Bibs, you remind me one of those uh, uh, one of those like 90s commercials. Over <laughs> here, we've got vestibule number one, and behind door number two, up two, we've got a two zippered vestibule. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Okay, so this is a single zipper vestibule um, and it also stakes out right in the middle. Now this one's interesting because the zipper goes um, quite far around. So you can see a little more space to get in and out on this side as well. And it gives you that other little cubby here to store more things. So like Andy said, if we were bike packing, this would be a really great tent um, for all of our bike packing gear because we usually have to take our bags off the bikes and keep them out of the rain. We've got lots of space to do that here. So really great for that. Um, if you're going on a short backpacking trip, you could even maybe try and bring this along. It is a little bit heavier, but I don't know. The space that this tent gives is quite nice. Very standard feature of most tents. We've got the ventilation feature. You just unvelcro it, grab the little sticker pole here and velcro that in you'll get some nice ventilation in and out of the tent here. Also one on the other side. All right, so the other thing about this um, tent design that I haven't seen before is the carrying case. Um, and because they've done this style, first of all, it makes it a little more lightweight. And it actually makes it easier to pack. So there isn't a zipper on this. You can see the tent is already there. And the way that you close up the bag is there's actually a drawstring. So you can pull the drawstring as tight as you want there. And then you hook these latches and it makes it nice and easy for carrying and you don't have to fight with the bag to take the tent in and out. It's a pretty cool design. So what do you think? I'm excited to sleep in this tent tonight. I know we just packed it back away, but we're gonna have to put it back up so we can actually sleep. Yeah, there's tons of rooms. I see uh, really great innovation actually, things that I haven't really seen before on the market. Maybe I'm just, you know, outdated on my tent technologies. <laughs> I don't know, but I really like the uh, fact that there's extra headroom and I love the fact that I don't have to roll over you to get in and out or vice versa. Well, that wraps up a review of the Unigear Space Dome 2 tent. Uh, if you are interested in this tent, we do have a link in the description below. 
check it out. You can actually order this directly on Amazon, get it shipped to you ASAP so you can go camping in this awesome tent.